game two. We have won the wild card. We have won the divisional. That leaves the NFC Championship as the only thing standing between us and a potential Super Bowl ring. Can you believe how far Jalen Hurts has taken us? It's really incredible. I don't understand Madden a lot of the times. In fact, almost ever. But how the 75 overall Jalen Hurts can throw laser after laser after laser, I'll never understand. I would say I'm worried going into this game, but I've got nothing to be worried about. I have an 89 overall squad with incredible, incredible depth. We've got awesome wide receivers and backups. We've got Derrick Henry and Cordero Patterson, both studs. Derrick Henry, the best running back in the game. Got Waller and Kittle. Got an awesome offensive line. Got incredible defensive players. Ed Reed, Devin White, Deion Jones, TJ Watt. Kareem Jackson playing amazing. Diggs playing amazing. Ramsey. Aw. We got Jabba the Gobble Ghoul, Vita Vea, Jonathan Allen, and Clowney with Montez Sweat as a backup. And now we even have a 91 overall focus kicker. And of course, you know I had to update my coach. You know I had to update my coach. Especially with Urban in, I have a really good feeling that we are going to grind this NFC Championship out. As you guys know, the rules of Wheel of Mutt are as follows. If we make the Super Bowl, our team resets. So winning the Super Bowl is really just a pride thing. And if we can make the Super Bowl, we will also be able to prestige one additional player. So right now, our prestigious are DK Metcalf, Darren Waller, Devin White, and Jalen Ramsey. So if any of those four players ever get a new card, we can automatically get the newest one. The question is, if we make the Super Bowl, who do we prestige? I would love your guys' help on this. I think the obvious answer, a lot of people want to say Jalen Hurts, right? Because it's been Jalen Hurts' season. The only issue is... Number one, he probably won't get another really good card. It's just not gonna happen. He might get like an 88 or something like a team of the week, maybe a team builder, but the realisticness of him getting like a 95 overall is just not gonna happen. That being said, why would I need to prestige Jalen Hurts if he's so easy to get? I mean, he's a 75 overall goal player. I could add him to my team with so many different wheel spins effortlessly, right? So as much as I love Jalen Hurts, I don't think he should be our prestige, but you guys could convince me otherwise. A really smart prestige, I think, is Joe Thomas, honestly. I know it's unorthodox, but uh, Joe Thomas is going to be an incredible left tackle for the next three, four months. He'll probably get an ultimate legend considering he has a legend. So that'll be a 98 to 99 overall left tackle way down the line. Bruce Matthews would be good too. He'll be in the same boat. So offensive line kind of kind of tickles my wiener a little bit. If we're not going to go that route, I'm tempted to go with the D-line route because this entire D-line is just going to get chucked out of here. Jagaba Jagush is pretty damn good. Vita Vea will likely get another card. I would hope he does. I don't think Jonathan Allen will. And Clowney, I don't think he will either. So I think it had to be one of these two right here. It would be sus to do another linebacker, but Ed Reed's going to be an incredible prestige because I could keep the linebacker Ed Reed and then also I could get ultimate legend safety Ed Reed when that comes out. It's kind of like cheesing the system really because he's got two positions. Sean Taylor would be a sick prestige too. Either way, boys, this is all circumstantial. I have to win today's game and I did lie a little bit. I'm nervous as shit. The playoffs wheel is spinning. I don't want to worry about anything until I see what I add to my squad and where we're going to be going from here. Our Wow, I needed this earlier. We get a veteran's jackpot, which is literally what I was trying to get for Prater. But we already have Prater. We can get any veterans player in the game. There is a 92 Cole Beasley. I feel like I don't need this at all, though. So there's 92 Cole Beasley. I have Daron Harmon. Darren Fells. Eh. I was thinking McCordy is the move. Honestly, none of these players really help us. I guess I'm going to go Beasley because my slot receiver is AJ Brown right now, who's an 87 overall. So 92 is actually a pretty massive upgrade. I'm sorry, AJ Brown. You have played very well for us. Also, I got absolutely shafted. I ordered a Jalen Hurts jersey two weeks ago. Still not in. I can't even find my order anymore. I might have got scammed. So shitty. So I'm sorry. I would love to be wearing a Jalen Hurts jersey right now. I'm going to try my hardest to get a hold of one. It might not be till next season of Wheel of Mutt, but Jalen Hurts has earned us wearing his jersey. So I'm going to I'm gonna get it done. Don't worry. All right, first wheel spin. Like, we knew we weren't going to get anything that could really help this team that much because it's so good. I think I would take off. I have a choice. An insanely good right tackle. Okay. We have the potential at an incredible upgrade here, but it's all going to come down to the team. Redskins, Ravens, Rams. Rams? What are the Rams going to have? I have no idea what they're going to have. Holy shit. They have Cooper Cup. They have Aaron Donald. I almost think we got to go in. Dude, that Aaron Donald's a god. But then he's going to go in for Jagaba Lagouche. I don't want to take Jagaba Lagouche out. What are the 91s? I could also get Cooper Cup. Oh my god. As much as I want to get Aaron Donald here, he's not an upgrade to my team as much as Rob Havenstein is. Thank god the Rams are cracked. Oh my god. They have so many good players. I have to do this. This is the smart playoffs option. I know you guys would have wanted Aaron Donald right there or maybe Cooper Cup, but I just can't do it. 
My wide receivers are cracked. My right end is cracked, and my left end is really good, too. So this is the true upgrade. This is a five overall upgrade right here. Nine to zero overall. If there's ever been a time that we were ready for the NFC Championship, boys, it was right now. The challenge wheel is spinning. I am low-key nervous as hell for this NFC Championship. Our challenge is to use your egg. Oh! oh. In the, in the NFC chip. Let's try and score on our first possession. And after that, I will go for the challenge. I'm not doing it on the first possession, though. One loss remaining. We are 2 and 0. Oh. Ah! We cannot lose here, boys. Rasta Shack. Okay, thank you. That makes me feel so good. We've got home field advantage. I've got the red unis on. Let's go, baby. Everybody always starts out with a run in the playoffs. Let's see if this guy's got big balls. That looks like a run if I've ever seen one. Play action. Big balls. But we're all over him. You can't throw anywhere. Let's go. And there's another play action. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Dude, don't ever throw at TJ Watt like that again. QB contained. Does he run for this? No. He wants something short. You are so short, TJ Watt! TJ Watt is getting exposed right now. That's two throws right over his dome. All right, this is actually a run. I think it's left side too. Yep, pitch. Let's see those angles, boys. Oh! <laughs> now he is gonna get it off. It is a play action once again. And I'm trying to get over there with Clowney, but I can't make it. I was on the wrong guy. I did not think he was gonna get the snap off. We gotta try something else. I'm getting exposed here. It is a screen, right? When I send the blitz, damn. Let's see what he goes with here. Second and four. Not a handoff. Oh, oh, I was so close to that. We are so close to these right now. TJ Watts had two almost. I would be really shocked if he ran the ball. That would have been the time to do it. Oh, I see the zig ropes. Ooh, Ed Reed is so close to picking that off. This was play action last time. Let's see if he actually runs it. Play action again. Nothing is open. Absolutely nothing is open. Third and goal. Get a goal line stand. Holding the three. He wants to throw underneath again, I think. This is what he did last time. Ooh, how did that get open? Oh my God. Seven to zero. I'm not worried though. We're gonna hit the edge here with Derrick Henry. It's gonna seal, kind of. We're gonna run through a corner and get four yards. Solid. Ooh, look at Cole Beasley and press. You think that gets open? There's Derrick Henry. Wide open, great throw from Hertz, and I'm lagging. Like, actually lagging. Did you see that? Oh, shit. Get the hell back out, you fucking god! I thought that was an INT, and he just dusted around him. Oh, my god. Metcalf, you savage. He aggroed out in front of him. We're going for two. You know I go for two. I'm not switching up my game plan right now. I'm not switching up my game plan in the middle of the season going Jalen Hurts season. Ah, didn't get it. Hey, we've been playing sketchy like that all season. I'm not going to stop now. He is just fixing to throw an interception, dude. Corner out, not there. Underneath, not there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He is gearing up to throw an interception. I don't care if it happens now or in the last 30 seconds of the fourth quarter. It's going to happen. He's going to look for that halfback route again, I think. Oh my God, I was so close. Oh my God. One yard off of that. Oh, he actually runs it. Second and five. He's gonna have a weird halfback route. Oh, bingo. Bingo, big hit. Who's that? Oh, that was Kareem Jackson came down to lay the hammer. Third and eight. We'll see what he goes for. Go get him. Yes, let's go! Gabagoosh! Oh, that wasn't Gabagoosh. It was Henry. Either way, it's fourth and 13. That's huge. If I see a corner round on a tight end, I gotta scream to it. Yup. There it is. There it is. Let's go! And it's intercepted by Sean Taylor to add insult to injury. Let's go! Clamps! Metcalf with him. Holy shit, that play by Metcalf was disgusting. All right, let's see how this looks now. It's gonna be Derrick Henry. Easy throw, easy get through. All right, we're gonna stretch this left, see if that edge will seal. It kind of does, and I trucked way too early, but it's Derrick Henry, so I still get five. Ah, it tastes his own medicine. This feels good. If I can get a first down here, it'll absolutely secure. Let's see how this looks. Good. Good! One more! He goes low. Smart man. Look for Darren Waller. Hurts. Hurts season. 
<laughs> Takes it out at the four. Third and goal from the four. I'm handing this off to Derrick Henry. If we don't get it, I will take my field goal. Completely fine with that. Let's go, Henry. Let's go, Henry. Get in there. Of course he does. Seven to 12, and now I, I really gotta go for two because kind of homeless and have been fucking it up so much. Well, no, because it's a five point game right now. So if I make it a six point game and then a field goal, it's a nine point game. So if I get stopped on this drive after halftime, I can still kick a field goal and be up by two possessions. Football is a game of math. Stay in school, kids. I'm gonna go for a bomb here. I think he's blitzing. Oh, he's not. Jalen Hurts season! Kind of made a play out of nothing. All right, we're gonna look shake at that corner and we're gonna try and laser this to uh, Mr. Henry. Look for Henry. Is he there? Oh my God, it's still so good. You know, I kind of thought, you know, maybe since I last played, it might be patched. No. Four for five, 95 yards and a touchdown. Jalen Hurts, baby. Let's see how this looks. He pinches and I'm gonna go right back where Simmons left. I do not need to open up the playbook. My playbook right now is killing it. Second and four, I'm gonna go half back base. The blocks are incredible. You better go low. And he goes low. First and 10. See who he takes. Does he take Henry? No, he's trying to guard Waller, but he just can't. There is Henry wide. Oh, best way I could describe that is weird. Oh, he's on the wrong dude. He's in trouble here. Derrick Henry, what a ball. I'm going to get around that read. I'm going to get through you. Let's go. Down to the four. It's Derrick Henry. Now, that's what's awesome about using identifier because I can see who he's using. He was scrambling to get back to his linebacker. So I just snapped it. And he got stuck on a D line and made our job a little too easy. And this stretch should be a touchdown. That edge should definitely seal. Ooh. It's not going to seal if he makes an awesome user play. Well done. All right, we're going to go inside zone. Locks set up pretty well and holy shit. He literally did the lineman thing. I rarely ever use that because it doesn't work. No. 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 Oh my God. Is that two rage quits in the playoffs? Oh my God. We're so cracked. We're so cracked. We're going to the Super Bowl. Oh my God. How many episodes ago did I get Jalen Hurts? Who would have thought we'd be right here with Jalen Hurts right now? We did not get to complete our challenge wheel because I was too scared to do it. But I think on that ensuing drive, I would have started it. So, all right, our Rachel wheel is spinning. I don't know how we keep doing this in the playoffs, but I'm so excited. Our spin is not 30K choice, but stats wheel top A. All right, this is an interesting one. You guys have never seen this. So I've got a wheel of stats here, yeah? We're gonna spin this first and then I'll explain. So let's see what it lands on. We want a good stat here though. We don't want something stupid. All right, Pursuit's actually really good. That is a really good one to get. Okay, we're gonna go in the auction house and we're gonna sort by overall. I get to take the player with the highest pursuit out of all the players on the auction house, okay? Out of these 10, I get to take the player with the highest pursuit. But as I'm looking at it, I don't think any of these are upgrades to my team. So it doesn't really matter. But I have a feeling it's gonna be on Shell Rolly. His pursuit is 80. What about Arakpo? Arakpo's got the highest. Arakpo might actually be better than TJ Watt. TJ Watt was kind of selling. Low key, he was selling a little bit in that game. It was, it was scaring me. So this could be solid. So Arakpo with 90 pursuit is the best option. That'll be a nice upgrade going into the Super Bowl, actually, bro. I'm excited. I like Brian Arakpo. I'm gonna throw him at our left outside linebacker. I'm sorry, TJ Watt, bro, but you're just you're sketchy, dude. All right, let's get Arakpo in there. He does definitely have better stats. Three more speed, five more excel, and ten more strength. Oh my god. Now our linebacker core is truly cracked. All right, clutch rage quit wheel. We don't get a challenge wheel, but we are locked in. Oh! You will see the Super Bowl in probably two days, maybe three at the max. Get your phone out, dial it in. It's gonna be such a banger. Help me think of who to prestige because now we made the Super Bowl. We're guaranteed to reset the team and have a prestige player. We're just gonna have to get after it. I love you boys. I'll see you in that video. Sadly, I won't have Jalen Hurts jersey, but I'll see you in that video. Peace.